Good morning, everybody. It might not be morning when you're watching this, but good morning. Now, I've done a lot of videos on weight loss on this channel, but I actually haven't taken you through my whole routine, exactly what I do from the moment I wake up from the moment I go to sleep. So I thought it would be a good idea because I see a lot of videos telling you how to lose weight, but they don't actually show you how to lose weight. So I'm going to show you exactly what I do. Now, I'm not one to do bulking or cutting. I usually like to stay lean year round. But like I mentioned in my last video, I did have some injuries. I sprained my knee, I broke my toe. It was just injury after injury, and then I put on some weight. So what are you gonna do? So since I'm going through that whole weight loss process again, I figured I'd show you exactly what I do. So let's get into it. My whole routine. So the first thing you wanna do in the morning before you do anything else, well, you can go to the bathroom first. First tip for losing weight, weigh yourself every morning. This is how you're gonna track your weight, and it is very important. You have to keep yourself accountable, and you do that by weighing yourself every morning. So here's a tip for weighing yourself. Make sure you have on the same exact clothes uh, every single morning, or else that weight will not be accurate. I weighed in at 157.4, and I had these, uh, these sweatpants on with uh, a jacket, a shirt, and then my phone, right? I weighed in at 157.4. I took all that off except for these sweatpants, and then I weighed in at 155. So if you want your weight to be accurate, wear the same exact thing every time you weigh yourself, and do it in the morning. So I'm gonna put on the screen right here exactly how I do it, exactly how I log my weight. So you're gonna log your weight every single day. I have it planned out. I have each day of the week right here. So after the seven days is up, you're gonna take the median number for you math folks, that's the middle number, and you're gonna put that for the week, right? You're gonna have your days of the week, and then you're gonna have multiple other weeks. I have mine set for 12 weeks. That's like a three month kind of weight loss program, you know, that you're going through. I like to give myself three months at least. And as you can see here, every day of the week, my weight fluctuates. It's not a steady number. You know, it's not lower every single day. It's gonna fluctuate. You could weigh two pounds heavier the next day, and you're gonna be like, what the fuck, really? But yeah, so just don't worry about it. As long as that number goes down over the weeks, you're fine, right? Week one, week two, week three, you should see that steadily go down. Right, so now that I weighed myself, I'm gonna get dressed because I'm gonna go on a 30 minute to a one hour walk, all right? Every morning, 30 minutes to an hour, it depends what's going on in the day. Since I'm off today, I guess I'm doing an hour. Whew, it's a gloomy, gloomy morning. Pretty rainy this morning, not a lot of sun, but you know, still moving. On all my tips to lose weight, I always emphasize that you have to be in a calorie deficit and you have to be moving, right? You gotta exercise. I always shoot for 10,000 steps in the day, so that's what I'm working on right now, getting some steps in the day. And contrary to popular belief, you do not need a bunch of intense exercise to lose weight. You could just walk a lot during the day and you could be shredded. I follow this guy called Paul Revelia on YouTube. He goes into detail, I'll link it down below on the benefits of just walking in the day. It's a good way to burn calories. You gotta be moving though, right? Don't walk like kids in high school in the hallways. You know how they're moving slow as hell like this. You try to get around them, but they're going so slow. You need to walk like your dad in the airport, right? You still have like an hour left before your flight. He's walking super fast, right? You can barely keep up with him. So you need to, you actually have to walk uh, at a decent pace, right? 30 minutes to an hour walking at a good pace. It's a good start to the day. If you're trying to lose some weight. So after my walk, I like to make myself a coffee. I just use these Cafe Escapes uh, mocha pods. They're 60 calories per per serving. Uh, if you guys know a better pod with less calories, uh, that's still like a mocha flavor or a caramel latte flavor, let me know down below. Uh, I need to find something a little bit less calories, but uh, that's what I'll be drinking. <sighs> Good way to start the morning. Let's go. So I wanted to go over my diet. So I do intermittent fasting. So if I wake up at 8 a.m., I don't eat until about 2 to 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And now it's not a true intermittent fast because I'm having like a mocha coffee, which is 60 calories. And then later on, I have an energy drink, which is about 10 to 15 calories. I like the monsters or the 3D energies, as you'll see later on. But it's still technically fasting, right? I didn't eat until later on in the day, until like 3 p.m., 2 p.m. A lot of people wonder why you do that. 
I, the only reason I do that is because I like to push my calories back uh, further into the day. First of all, I'm not really hungry in the morning anyway, so I don't really feel like eating, so I can push my first meal until later on in the day. And by doing that, I get to save a lot of my calories for later on in the day versus the morning when I'm not even hungry, right? I don't like to go to bed hungry at all. I like to eat maybe like an hour or two before I go to bed. I just don't like to go to bed hungry at all. I can't even sleep. It's, it's pretty weird. So I'm going to break down my calories real quick. My maintenance calories is around 2300 to 2350. You can find that by going to an online maintenance calorie calculator. There's a lot of them out there. I'll link the one that I use down below. It's literally the first option that came up on Google. So find your maintenance calories and you want to be in a calorie deficit of 300 to 500 calories. Now, whenever I'm starting a weight loss, kind of program here. I usually go for around three months. That's a good um, That's a good goal for me, three months, and then we'll see where I'm at after that. But for the first month, I'm gonna do a slight deficit. I'm gonna do the 300 calorie deficit. So basically my calories will be at 2000. Now, why I don't go for the whole 500 calorie deficit right off the bat, because I wasn't used to it, right? If you're not used to eating that low of calories, right? That would be, if I was in a 500 calorie deficit, that would put me at 1800 calories. That's low for a guy. 1800 calories is pretty low. So I don't recommend jumping straight into that. And that's why I went with the 2000 calorie limit. Okay, it's only 200 calories more, but 200 calories is a big difference. It can be a big difference. That's why a lot of people fail because they jump into a big deficit right off the bat and then they can't stick to it. And then they give up, start binging on the foods that uh, got them there in the first place, man. The high sugary foods, the high calorie foods, they start going back to that and then it goes downhill, and then your weight loss thing, it's over. So I recommend a small deficit at first, first month, 300 calorie deficit, second month, 400 calorie deficit. So I'm actually in my second month right now, which is a 400 calorie deficit. So I am eating 1900 calories per day to get shredded, that's the goal. So in the next month, of April, I'm gonna be at 1800 calories. Working my way up to that, right? I'm not just jumping straight into that, I'll be used to it by then. Well, I'm pretty used to it by now, but I'll enjoy my 100 calories for the rest of this month. Anyway, if you like to eat breakfast, then eat breakfast, okay? You don't have to do this intermittent fasting thing. I know that this could be a little extreme for some people, you know, not eating within the first six, seven, eight, nine hours of the day without even having a meal yet. I know some people might be put off from that. And if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it, man. Eat your breakfast. Uh, I just like to put off my first meal until later in the day. That way I just feel more full when I'm eating lower calories, if that makes any sense. Uh, it's just me. I'm not hungry in the morning, so I don't eat. And I just drink this coffee and the energy drink just to suppress my appetite, right? Caffeine is a natural appetite suppressant. Caffeine doesn't even really affect me, man. I could have 400 milligrams of caffeine and nothing doesn't affect me. The only reason I do it is to suppress my appetite, helps me drink more liquids, it's better than just water in the morning. It's not a true fast, but it gets me through the day with less calories. That's what I do. So after I finish my coffee, we are going to get into my workout. We're gonna do arms and shoulders today. Yeah, my favorite. And then uh, we'll see what I do next. Let's get to the workout. Come on. And just remember, uh, weight training isn't going to burn as many calories as cardio. Now cardio is the main key at losing fat, right? It's gonna burn more calories. Weightlifting doesn't burn as many calories as cardio does, so just keep that in mind. It's just a good mixture of the two, right? Total body recomposition is what we're trying to go for here, right? You're trying to look good, trying to feel good. Cardio and weight training, mix the two, keep them both in your routine, and you will look good, promise. Let's go.
workout complete. Oh, we're all set. Now I think it is time for the energy drink. We gotta put off that first meal, you know? Let's get it. What's going on guys? So I got the energy drink. I am trying out the 3D Liberty Pop Edition. Now whenever you're getting an energy drink, make sure you get a lower calorie one. Don't get the ones that are loaded with sugar and calories, like the monsters, like the green monsters at least. You know, there's upwards of 50 grams of sugar, over 200 calories. It's not gonna do it. If you're trying to be in a calorie deficit, you want as least amount of calories as possible. So do not drink your calories. This one's 20 calories. The other 3D drinks are 15 calories, and then the monsters, like the white monsters, are 10 calories, okay? That's perfectly fine for me. I think the bangs are zero calories also, but it's just a little bit too much caffeine for me, but I'm gonna drink this bad boy, and I will see you at lunch. So if you do make the decision that you wanna lose the weight, and you're gonna be tracking your calories, make sure that you are accurately tracking your calories, okay? Be honest with yourself, don't lie to yourself and do not lie about your calories, right? If you're drinking a monster that has 250 calories. That's calories. You have to count it. If you're putting sauce on your food, you got to count it. Okay. Sauce has calories. So a medium sized potato, I think like 143 grams, I believe a medium sized potato is 140 calories, right? If you just grab a potato and say it's 140 calories, that could be wrong. Make sure you weigh everything because that potato could be 200 calories and you don't even know it. Just make sure you're accurately counting your calories. A good way to do that is using one of these, right? A food scale. If you've never weighed your food before, you definitely have to get one of those food scales. It will help you track your calories a lot easier. If you don't track exactly what you're eating, you could be overeating, you never know. I'm gonna finish my meal. It is freaking delicious. I'm hungry. I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna eat this meal, and I will see you later. All right guys, I just finished some jujitsu. I had some uh, jujitsu classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, which is actually pretty convenient because I don't work on those days, well, on Tuesdays. So it's good to get some more cardio in. I'm telling you that people who are the most active are the people who are the most in shape, I promise you. All right, they're burning more calories, they're in more of a deficit, and they're gonna be more shredded. Next, I'm gonna show you what I am eating for dinner because I am starving. Plus, we gotta get our protein up, we are pretty low for calories for the day, so uh, I gotta feed the body. Feel the body. Feel the mind. You know? All right guys, for some dinner, we've got some tuna sandwiches that I made here. Uh, for the tuna, I'm using these tuna creation packets. I got the sweet and spicy one and the herb and garlic one. Uh, they're both 16 grams of protein, so 32 grams of protein total for only 200 calories. Fit tuna into your diet it is pretty damn good. Good macros at least. Now, pro tip. The more protein that you're having, the more satiated you're gonna be, the more full you're going to be, and the less hungry you're gonna be. If you're eating stuff that is filled with sugar and carbs and fats and stuff, it's not gonna fill you up as much. Now, if you're eating more protein, you're gonna feel full, and it's good for your muscles, okay? I'm gonna eat this up because I'm so freaking hungry. Uh, if you want more in-detail videos about my foods that I eat, I actually do have another video up here, what I eat in a day. That's my 2,000 calorie high protein diet, so go check that out if you haven't already. I show you exactly what I eat in the day. I'm not gonna go in too much detail right here, but I'm just showing you what I eat real quick. So I'm gonna get this down, and I will see you later. All right guys, so I'm reaching the end of the day, so I wanna wrap things up a little bit. So I'm not gonna show you everything I ate during the day, okay? As long as you hit your protein goal and your calorie goal, then you are good for the day, right? So for protein, a good rule of thumb is one gram of protein per pound of body weight. I weigh 155 pounds, so I get 155 grams of protein uh, each day. And as far as the calories, like I mentioned earlier, 1900 calories is my goal. So as long as you're under your goal, then you are fine. I wanted to mention a couple more tips before I let you go. So if you're gonna be reducing your calories, you might get a little hungry during the day and you might wanna snack and binge and stuff. Usually when I'm bored, I like to eat, okay? I don't know why, it's just maybe something to do and I'm bored, so I just start eating. But instead of eating, try some of this stuff, man. So some gum, just chew some gum. You know, distracts my mind, put some flavor in my mouth. Uh, I like the Trident Vibes, you know, five calories per stick of gum or piece of gum. Or a zero calorie beverage. Okay, I like the Propel Zero, maybe a carbonated beverage. That's zero calorie and flavored. That'll help you feel fuller, even though you're just drinking, you know, zero calories. Either of those two will distract you from food, maybe help you 
uh, give the illusion of eating, you know, feeling fuller just because of the liquid, you know, just drinking more liquids. So drink more liquids, it'll help you feel fuller. And my very last tip is going to be, if you don't reach your calorie goal, right? Or if you're not under your calorie goal, let's say I got to 2000 or 2100 because I was extra hungry today. It doesn't matter. It really does not matter. Do not stress about it. Just reset the next day and try and reach your goal the next day, right? It's not the end of the world. Do not make it worse by eating more food that same day, right? You're like, oh, I reached 20, 2100 calories. I'm over my limit. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm just going to eat more. You know, that's how you go downhill. It's not good. Some days you're hungrier than others. Okay. Today I did a lot of movement. I was exercising a lot. You know, I did the jujitsu. I did walking. I did my uh, arms and shoulders workout. So I was busy the whole day. Somehow I wasn't that hungry. Like I said, some days you're hungrier than others. So today I just got lucky and I wasn't very hungry. So it's probably that protein I was eating, man. Keeps you full, keeps you satiated. Eat more protein than the carbs and fats. Carbs and fats don't fill you up as much. Plus they are higher in calories usually. The fattier foods are higher in calories. So get your protein intake up. Hit your protein goals for the day, calories for the day, and you're good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. That is exactly what I do pretty much every day. I might mix it up just a little bit depending on workouts or you know different foods that I eat, but that is essentially exactly what I do when I'm trying to lose fat, right? I'm trying to get shredded for the summer and that's what I do. That's honest me right there, okay? That's what I'm doing and I see results. I promise you, you will see results. It takes weeks, could take even months depending how much fat you have on you. Okay, you just gotta stick with it and follow the tips that I mentioned in this video. If you guys liked it, please hit the like button. It helps my video a ton. Reach more people, spread this information because there's so much misinformation out there, okay? Spread this message. Also subscribe if you're new. I have videos like this every week. I have challenges, weight loss tips, stuff like that to keep you entertained. So that's it for me guys. Take care, cause I care.